In 1987, you strike gold again, working with Mel Brooks on his classic <sighs> satirical spoof of the science fiction genre, Spaceballs. I, I, I saw in an interview that Mel Brooks wanted the production quality to be as impressive as the films it was spoofing, if not more so. And it actually shows in the final film. How do you approach a vision like that where it's intended to look as a serious science fiction film, but it's actually a comedy? How do you, how do you guys do that? Well, Brooks's first comedy or first um, talk or meeting that I had with him, I just came off a movie called City Heat with uh, Clint Eastwood and Burt Reynolds, which was just underlit, you know, just no light at all. And, and um, Mel told me, he said, look, at, this is a comedy and I pay for those walls. I want to see them. So <laughs> light it up, light it up. He's a funny guy, Mel Brooks. <laughs> You're a funny guy. It'd be really <laughs> strange if he was not funny at all in real life. <laughs> I pay for those walls. I want to see him. I, he, that has to be a shirt. I pay for those walls. I want to see him. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what he said to me. I pay for those walls. I want to see them all. Don't try and skimp on the light. <laughs> the production quality of Spaceballs yeah. is always so impressive to me. It's almost better than Star Wars, which is insane. And I think uh, ILM did actually lo did a lot of the effects for Spaceballs too, right? They, they did. And I worked for ILM after that for a couple of years. I'd go up there three days wow. a week and work for uh, Lucas out at the ranch. And what, a, what an education that was. God, it was just a great time. I did yeah. like the, the miniatures and... All the green screen on Willow. Remember that movie with uh, with yes. uh, Ronnie Howard directed, I believe. Yeah, Val I Kilmer. Love, I love yeah, but that it was just a great time up there. Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer.